what Christ calls us to, all right, is to be individuals that are on the front lines with Him. And I think, again, what has happened so much in the American church, we've asked people just to come and, again, just uh, be present when Christ never wants them to be just present. And so uh, we're constantly giving people a vision for the fact that our job as staff folks is to equip the saints for the work of service. So our mission is really threefold. One is we want to glorify God in all we do and we want to mobilize the body towards a life of regular, intentional, relational service. And, and thirdly, we just want to transform and engage the community. And we came up with four key impact areas. And so and we operate in a impact poverty, which involves housing issues, homelessness. And then we have impact education and mentoring, because we believe that if you can get to kids um, early on in their life, that empirically those kids do better academically, they do better socially. And then we also have Impact Justice, which involves um, a group of our lawyers. Locally, that group files nuisance lawsuits in West Dallas and shuts down brothels and crack houses and then turns those properties over to uh, affordable housing providers like Builders of Hope. Lastly, we have Impact Families and Health, which includes our, some of our doctors and our medical professionals that are doing uh, volunteer hours in local um, health clinics and dental clinics and it's really um, lay leaders that that um, we just support and empower and encourage and we help them build teams and we communicate what those opportunities are so that more folks can join in that particular mission. There are many opportunities that groups have where they can get out of their living rooms and serve together. Uh, Philippians 2.3 talks about keeping others' interests above our own, and serving helps us to do that. Also, it helps us to understand our gifts and temperament and talents, and uh, so we can appreciate each other as we serve as well. And we also recognize that, just as with any church, there's a whole spectrum of folks that come through the doors. And so, for um, folks that are, um, haven't served before, we've found that this All Church Service Day is a great um, on-ramp to service. It's a day that we cancel our services and we load up on buses and we, we go out and serve our ministry partners and schools and transitional homes and places all around the Metroplex. And it gets uh, folks in a, into a safe place where they can serve with friends and family. Um, they can see that the places that we serve are not that far away. Uh, and it's just a great, what we call, first serve opportunity. It'll be exciting to see what God does, uh, both in this church body and just with the church universal across the city and as we tackle some of the major things that are on the horizon.